Our architecture and quality prediction approach imp improve builds on existing data and on existing operator knowledge. We try to combine both to find, let's say, new insights in how our data correct, what is the quality of the data we gathered, and on the other hand, what is the knowledge of the operators. Because at the end of the time, we want to support operators in having a better performance on their plants, better quality, higher throughput. So what we need to do, we take the data from real plants by our architecture, our generic architecture, meaning how can I access data like a USB approach or whatever, uh, wireless, how can I get the data into my computer. Then we have to take the algorithm, how to predict the quality, because if we would not predict it, it may be bad quality and we want to avoid that. So we already know very early that there is a good or a bad quality. We can show that to the operator and he or she can then manipulate the plant accordingly. The most important scientific contribution from the Technical University of Munich in this project IMPROVE is the algorithm and concept to judge data quality. So we often get a lot of data but we cannot judge whether they are really representative. So if we do data algorithm we don't know whether we really get the truth or only a part of it which is not really giving the truth about the whole process. Yeah, some of the future challenges is uh, how to figure out and visualize for operators that they only have a specific part of knowledge. Of course we know an operator who has 30 years of experience has a lot of different, uh, let's say, knowledge about recipes uh, compared to an operator who has only two years of experience. If we look for technologists, it's the same. Technologists may have uh, seen 30, 50 plants or only two. So depending on the different plants they have seen and the different years of experience, they have a different knowledge. That's quite clear. And also the same is true for the data. If we have only data from one plant, they may not be acceptable for others. So the main challenge for future combining the operators on the one hand and the data on the other hand is to somehow visualize this mismatch. So if I'm an operator at a specific plant, what part of the data analytics, what part of the mental model I would need to get to improve my operation of the process. And this is something which is uh, really not tackled yet. <laughs>